And her striking looks clean tonight, timing on point. Her timing's on point, her accuracy's on point. She's very busy, she's in a good flow. Nice kick. Midway through round one. Looking to land that right punch just out of range. Oh, big knee. That was a jab. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Yolanda Yemjechi. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Yon Jaichek. Again, she chooses to flinch here, and they separate. Leg kick checked by Yoana Yonjeche. Calvillo gets caught with that punch. Nice right hand there from Yoana Yonjeche. She's got that look in her eye tonight. Heather's gonna scare a lot of fans. that's coming for you. And you see that she's back in that state that allowed her to become the longest ranked strawweight champion. <laughs> 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Does she have a soccer background? How about the kick there? I mean, she must have a soccer background because who kicks that hard? She gets to her spot, the tie play, and then she starts to let the knees fly. Timing her shots nicely here tonight, DC. She's doing a great job, but not only being active, she is so accurate. She's on point tonight. All right, so there's the end of the round. She knocked her down, but not out. DC, the replay is all you. She is as tough as they come. She is not going to give up on herself ever. If there is an opportunity to fight back, she will take it. Well, let's see what she makes of a chance to stay in the fight. So round one in the books, we'll see how it plays out in round two. Cynthia Calvillo. Let's go fight. And there is Joanna Guillaume Man, she might punch harder than you. Nice connection there. I don't know about that, John, but she is a fast action striker. Man, she can hardly stand now and even behind before when she was fresh. How do you think she feels now that she's barely able to step on that leg? She's landed some pretty good shots here tonight, but still DC unable to string any solid combinations together. I just don't believe she's confident in being in there. She's very aware of her opponent's power, so it's making her limit her activity on the inside. Throw that out the window. You're the faster fighter, you're successful. Let those combinations string together. 51 total strikes have now landed for Yolani Yonjechi. And the connection rate, DC, pretty good as well, landing at a 63% clip against Cynthia Calvillo. Just unable to quite find that range. And she's back in the clinch. Well, there's that patented Yoani Young check jab. Might be the best jab for any man or woman in the UFC at present. Head coach Mike Brown certainly thinks so. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. She lands a switch, D. Real quick leg kick. Calvillo gets in the clinch yet again. Nice one there. Oh, nice inside kick. Oh, there. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive hit. the punch.
and she connects with a punch there, champ. She's so accurate. She's so good at timing all of her strikes. Unbelievable! So a big TKO victory for her here tonight. She executed to a T, and she makes a major statement to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 44 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Joanna Yachechev. Well, she is smiling ear to ear and hard to blame her after, after she gets the win tonight by TKO. And really, everything she said about this fight coming in played out that way on fight. Sometimes you can say a lot of things, and you're not sure it's actually going to happen. Tonight, everything she said would happen did. Very rare, but she should be very proud of the work she got done tonight. Referee has seen enough and made. It is a bantamweight matchup between Cody Garbrandt and Bruce Lee. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, and there's a land with the kick. All right, so there it is, the early takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was going to try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing so just then. During their fight camp, they made a checklist. They checked off the most important part of the fight, getting an early takedown. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Cody Garber. Oh, nice. Nice. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Cody Garbrandt. Look at the turtle in that kick. Got clip with the right hand. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. He loaded up there in that high kick. Oh, big 
left. Two minutes remain in the round. Oh, nice stick move there by the former champion, Cody Garbrandt. This might be, DC, the best pure boxer in this Bantamweight division. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Cody Garbrandt. Great punch. Lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Under a minute to go. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Just a Still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Well, a nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus mitts, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Way to hide that leg kick. Flip with a left-hand counter. Garbrandt gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Look at him drive his shoe. That is as big a strike as he has landed thus far today. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough the corner he is, though. Still see how he's still in that fight. He's done, he's done. What a fight. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early. It was there often and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 1 minute, 39 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it...